India takes to the environmentally friendly skies. We take a look at the world's first airport that doesn't rely on traditional energy sources. And the sad state of soda. Find out why the world's biggest makers of sugary drinks isn't too confident about its future profits. But first, the U.S. space program says winter is coming and it will, quote, definitely not be normal. Thanks to El Nino, that is. The weather pattern is already throttling Colombia's water supplies and that could jeopardize the country's crops. Now officials say next year's food supply could be at risk too. CCTV's Michelle Bege reports from Bogota. At Bogota's popular food plaza Palo Quemao, the impact of Colombia's worst drought is cause for concern. Food costs are going up. There is water rationing and every day everything becomes more expensive. I used to shop with the equivalent of $10, but now it gets me very little. I worry that this drought will go on until March because it really affects our family budget. And in December, produce usually gets more expensive. Vegetable vendor Pablo Sanchez says the price of carrots, lemons and potatoes has doubled. Pablo is telling me the drought is also affecting the quality of the vegetables. You can see these are yellow instead of being green. And the yuca is not as white as it usually is. Its outer edges start to turn brown and black from the lack of water. The key here is to support the farmers and to take care of our rivers. People here are worried, but they allow things to happen and they don't support the farmers. Colombia's Agricultural Society, a trade association, says as the cost of food goes up, farmers will most likely make less money. Officials recommend that farmers consider whether to cultivate products that require a lot of water, such as potatoes. Most of the crops in this country are in trouble, not just from lack of water, but because of the heat. We're experiencing the highest temperatures in our history, and the agricultural sector, including livestock, is affected. Colombia's coffee beans are also threatened. Production is predicted to fall 18 percent over the last half of this year, a direct result of the El Nino phenomenon. Michelle Begue, CCTV, Bogotá.